Alright guys, Terry Dunks are here and welcome to the video. So, Gorefist, uh, this was the first boss that gave me problems in Remnant, so I thought I'd give you some tips on how to beat him. So first up, preparation. Uh, make sure you jump back to the ward, upgrade your weapons and armor as high as you can, and also remember that Ace uh, sells extra iron, so you can use that to upgrade them even further. While you're there, pick up some oil skin tonics and some bandages. So Gorfist does some serious damage in melee, so during the fight, keep your distance and just put as many bullets into him as you can. He'll rush towards you, so let him do this, and then dodge towards him to dodge his attack, and then run to get some distance. During the fight, uh, little exploding gremlins will spawn, so keep an eye out for their high-pitched noise. That means they're getting close to you and they're going to explode. You take them out with, depending on what weapon you're using, a bullet or two. During the fight, you will see him start to glow red. This means he's turned into his rage mode, and during this mode, he'll just charge towards you faster than he usually does, and he'll do more damage. So keep an eye out for it, make sure you dodge the attacks, keep your distance. During this rage mode, he will be able to catch you quicker. So as you're running away, just keep an eye out behind you so you do get a well-timed dodge in. When you enter the boss arena, the room on your right doesn't actually spawn the exploding gremlins, but they still will make their way towards you. Uh, also, it has some obstacles which you can use to put space between you and Gorfis. So this is a pretty decent area to fight him. If you have the Rattleweed weapon mod, which you get from uh, crafting item being the Shroud boss, this is really helpful during this fight, or really any fight, because you, you can use it to draw aggro away from you to give you a chance to heal. And lastly, remember in the main menu you can set your game to public. This will allow you to join other people's games, or they will join yours, just to give you an extra hand. So, I actually beat the boss with one extra person, and it didn't seem to affect the spawn rate, or the amount of little gremlins that spawned, but I I think I have seen a video where there was two extra players and there were more gremlins than usual. I hope these tips help you out. So if you like the video, give us a like, subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.